and welcome to Build Series live from London. I'm Will Best, and look who we're joined by, the supremely talented Ivan Novello Award-winning Tom Adele. <laughs> Now, if you've got any questions for Tom, you can tweet them at Build Series London or leave them in the comments on the Facebook page. Um, Tom, welcome to Build. Thanks for having, thanks for having me. Yeah. H how are you, mate? Yeah, good. Good. Yeah, I had a lovely morning. Oh, great. Uh, what did you do? <laughs> I did a, uh, a podcast. Really? Yeah. And I had a nice sleep. Good. I slept for... Maybe eight hours. Is that normal? Are you a are you a good sleeper? Recently, not so much actually. Uh, it's an achievement to get over like six and a half, I would say. Is that because of uh, schedule or because you're just too excited to know. attack the day? You want to get up. I think it's a mixture of that and sort of ill health. Right. Uh, Basically, you're going to bed too late. Yeah. Uh, no. You look but, well, mate. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing what the plastic surgeon. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're a big star now. <laughs> You've got to do it. Yeah. Um, no, I have this thing where I wake up at like half four. In the morning? In the morning, quite a lot. Is that to go for a wee? No, not. Because I, I wee in the night every night. I don't, I rarely, without fail. I rarely wee in the night, actually. Really? Yeah. I get out of bed to do it. I don't, it's not... <laughs> Although right. I, I have to climb down a ladder to get out of bed, not because I live on the top bunk, <laughs> but because it's complicated. What you, it's you, a pain, mate. It's a real pain. You have to climb down a ladder. Yes, yes. Are well, you just very small? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Getting I'm actually really normal... close to you right now. That's why I look normal size. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, uh, Interesting. So it's not a bunk bed. No, it's not a bunk bed. It's you. It's. I don't know if anyone cares about uh, right. my sleeping arrangements. I can, I but can. thank you for. Well, you're the star. I'll yeah. tell you. Uh, um, no, it's like it's a it's a mezzanine. Right. You know, it's a warehouse living, mate. Well, uh, mezzanine. East London warehouse living, and we're going to talk a, a, a little bit about East London. We are. Because I'm now segueing like a professional interviewer. That is. That is. Uh, yeah, I couldn't have done it better. Jubilee so. Road. Yeah. Your new album. Yes. About <clears> to <throat> drop 12th of October. Uh, 26th. 26th yeah. of October. Yeah. Someone's getting fired. <laughs> um, uh, and uh, I mean, well, congratulations. I've heard some of the singles. Yes. They're smashes already. Oh, look, there you are. Yes. Is that you sitting in Jubilee Road? Uh, yes. Is it? Uh, yes. Is Jubilee uh, Road a real place or is it a sort of m metaphorical amalgamation of real places? It is a, um, it, 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 it's a real road, but it's, 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 in, it's inspired by a real road. Right. But if I was to play the album to the people that inspired it, the neighbours and the friends I made whilst living there, I'm not sure they would recognise it because I think it was sort of my view, right? which was different. I, indifferent? No, it was different. Different, yeah, I was gonna and, say. And, and, and every, I think every, you know, everyone's view would have been different. But I think as well, like, you know, with songwriting, it's a strange one, because I think it's kind of like, the, the best way I, I like to describe it is, is like dreams. It's like, you can, you know, those dreams you have when you're sort of, I don't know, you can be at your grandmother's house, but like all the wrong people are there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and, and that's the best way I describe the world of sort of songs for me is like, it's like, it was inspired by the road, but like there were things that occurred that were perhaps like, I imagined my childhood on that road, but I, I didn't live there as yeah. a child. Yeah. Um, but that was through seeing maybe like a young kid that lived opposite and seeing him going to school every day and that inspired and it conjured up some memories of mm. me going to school. And, and, and so. Because you do specifically talk about your neighbours in the title track. Yes. Do, yeah. Are they the real people or, or have names been altered? Because Mr. Bouvier. Yeah, Mr. Bouvier. Mr. Bouvier sounds yeah. fun. Um, yeah. He wears purple dungarees. Mm. Legend. I think I was quite obsessed with. Because, uh, uh, you know, his, that's not his real sur surname. No. His real surname. That, but he is a real, a real person. Yeah. And he actually. He, I see him quite a lot still. I saw him on, I saw him two days ago. Just by chance or because you actually went to hang out with him? No, he came and knocked on my door. I said, what's all this about me and my purple yeah. dungarees? That's private. No, he asked for two tickets to the London show. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, classic Bouvier, that. Yeah, classic. Um, no, I don't know where Bouvier came from. And it's weird because I don't really, I try not to uh, 
uh, analyze it too much, but it might be because I was, I became quite obsessed with um, Jackie Kennedy. Oh, wow. And her, and her name was Bouvier. Uh, oh, really? I, I don't know. That. I, that That's was, a great cultural reference. But that was, that was like, uh, I think that's right. Uh, but I, I might not be. Also, um, in The Simpsons also, I think Marge Simpson's maiden name is Bouvier. There's a proud uh, history Cause, cause to the Bouvier Simps name. Homer Simpson goes, Mrs. Bouvier! Uh, uh, yeah. When he's trying to get Marge or something, I don't know. But anyway, um, uh, what was I talking about? You were talking about how Mr. Uh, Bouvier came round, but about how it's, it's not necessarily the, 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 the same names, but it is real people. And they're, they're aware that they're in it, that which is... Which some, no, no, some of them are... Mi, Russ is, the old man, he's aware. Maxim Maud, a Maxim Maud, conveniently I alliterative can't really, names. can't really give away the identity of them. Are they, are they, are they aware that they're in it, Maxim Maud? <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's like... But again, like, Maxim Maud, like, are inspired by two people, right? Yeah. A couple... But they're also inspired by like, they were inspired. There was a couple that lived on the on the road yeah. that I wasn't friends with, and they reminded me of a couple that are big in my life. And and then when I was writing about them, I imagined this couple. And in the Jubilee Road song, uh, Max is a big heavy drinker. He's a heavy, yeah. And he's always in the pub. Yeah. And I'm always there with him, <laughs> drinking in the pub. And that comes from I think. <clears throat> that sort of feeling of like, I don't know, I don't know, like I think I've been in that situation before where where you, you feel like you're with someone, they're like, do you want another pint? And you're like, yeah, you, I don't think you should have another one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think you should go home. Uh, but, but also you do want one. Yeah, you but I do one. want one, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But no, but I think, but again, so like, they're sort of half real, those people and half not. And I think that's the same across the whole album. like. There's a song on the last song on the album is dedication to like my sister, and because she was getting married, and um, this song is a real like I've I've never been brave enough to write a song about my sister before, but this song was about the fact that she was getting married and and and, and we even recorded it like the night before the wedding. Wow. And but and it is a total dedication to her, and it's and there's a bit in it where it says, "I'm just a little brother telling my big sister that." I'm really proud. And that is straight from me. But at the same time, in the song Wedding Day, there's a there's a whole sort of chapter in that song where it talks about the fact that our mother is 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 not alive. Because I imagine this scenario where which was sort of inspired by the fact that my grandma died mm. just before a little bit before the wedding. And so I imagine that scene around the table when everyone's raising their glass but to the ones that aren't there. And that seems a, a very sort of like thing that happened often in the weddings I've been to where there's that moment in the wedding when we raise the glasses for those who aren't there and the bride might have a tear in her eye mm. and the father of the bride might have a tear or the mother. And so there was a certain amount of like, I hadn't been to the wedding at that point, but I imagined that scene and my mum is alive but for some reason, it was my grandma died, but I put it as the mum. And I think that's because it's in order for me to be able to write the song, it, I have to run away with it in my imagination. Yeah, of course. It can't just be, it can't just be sort of literal fact. Literal. Yeah. Because, it, yeah, I have to be able to run away with it. How did your mum take, take the news? She hasn't heard it yet. She, she hasn't heard it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mum, yeah. you didn't make it. Yeah, she didn't. <laughs> yeah. No, but she, but, but she, but I think, I think my friends and my family know that it's never really about, it might be inspired by them, but it's not, it's not directly about them. Um, I mean, I have a song on my second album called Daddy, which is not about my dad. Mm. Uh, it's just, but you know, if he, he, I think he knows that it's not, you know, so it's like, uh, so, you know, it's so sort of strange. Yeah. It's a strange one. Though. I think it's quite an interesting analogy, the dreams thing, because that is how everybody describes a dream. It's like, you were there, but it wasn't you. Me, we yeah. were in this place, but it wasn't that place. Like, yeah. That is sort of the standard yeah. dream description. Um, yeah. But this, this album, I mean, you've, you've said in, in other interviews and stuff that, you know, it's your most honest album to date in a lot of ways. Mm. I mean, 
as we've heard, that it, it, is that not necess- does that not necessarily relate to the lyrics? Is that as much about the music and the way you wrote the album and the sound of it feels honest to you and true to you? Because it's quite stripped back from the songs we've heard, the yeah. pianos at the fore, you know, it feels like you. Yeah, honesty is a strange thing, isn't it? Because it's like, it's not, again... It's subjective. Just it's subjective. Trump, you know. Yeah, and it's, a, it's and also I think with the honesty thing, it's a, it's a feeling that you're trying to express and, and you're trying to, when I'm trying to write a song, I'm trying to dig down as deep as I can to express this feeling as true as I can, as pure as I can, which is this like, I want people to feel exactly exactly what I'm feeling, or I want to share with people exactly what I'm feeling in that moment. Um, I guess it's like any good art, you're trying to do that. You're mm. trying to ex- express the truest form, but and you're trying to do so without all the things that might distract that, which might be, you might want it to sound like something. You might, you might, you know, like sometimes I like the idea of being a kind of Robin Thicke type character. So but less misogynistic. <laughs> less misogynistic. <laughs> but so I sort of go, oh, I'll write a song like that. But I listen to it afterwards and I'm like, that's a shit song. Am I allowed to swear? You can say that word. <clears throat> Sorry if I'm not. You can say that uh, word sparingly, but, but don't drop any other bombs. But, but then afterwards I listen to it and it's not very good. So I'm like, but that's because it's, I'm not Robin Thicke. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I'm using Robin Thicke as an example. Well, but, it, you know, why, but like, why not? it's because I'm not, and I'm not a sort of Latin, you know. You're not Robin s- Thicke. You're not um, Enrique Iglesias. No, as much as I sometimes like to yeah. be. You're not Ricky Martin. But just because we couldn't book him, actually, we were trying to get Ricky Martin for today, but too big. No, yeah. yeah, I'd love to be. I'd love to be uh, Ricky Martin. Yeah, who wouldn't? Yeah. Um, but you, you talk about how... I, I, I've, I've read lots of interviews that you've done. In the I do tend album. to like go on a bit. No, 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 not at all. It's very interesting. One of the things that you yeah. said, which which I found very interesting, was that this album is a culmination of ten years of writing. Right. Yeah. And that it's been a long time coming. But it's your third album, mm. and uh, usually I, th- I feel like the norm is you. Spe- it takes you a lifetime to write your first album. Right. And yeah. then it's like, well, I've I've used up all the stuff that I've yeah. been sitting on for ten yeah. years. Now it's a new thing. Now it's a new thing. Yeah. How how is this? Are some of these songs things that you've been tinkering with for that long, or is it just ten years worth of experience which has sort of manifested in this? No, they're definitely not songs I've been tinkering with for ten years. No, they're they're new songs. Uh, actually, half as good as you. The melody was uh, quite old, actually, but um, but ge- generally they're they're new. But I think what I mean by that is that it's, it's, I think it's the album I've been trying to make. I think I was trying to make this album the first time round. I was trying to make this album the second time round. I really, like, quite boldly do think this is my best album. Like, I, like, I, I, and I'm sure people say that lots. It'd be strange if I didn't say that. Mm. If I was like, this is my second best album. Um, <laughs> I'm sure people will think that as well. But for me, like, this is the album that, like, best reflects who I am and what I stand for. Is that quite a frightening thing to put that out into the world? No, it's in, incredibly not so because I don't feel like I've got anything to lose. There's there's a strength that you I've got from it, which is like I I'm not trying to be anyone else than who I am. You're not trying to be Robin Thicke. I'm not trying to be Robin Thicke. And I think actually, if I'm being honest with myself, at times previously in my career, I have done that. Mm. Not Robin Thicke. But, uh, <laughs> Robin Thicke hasn't had this much airtime in years. Yeah. I actually once did a show with Robin Thicke. Like, I did, like, and he did a lot of praying before he did went it? on stage. Yeah. Which I thought was quite sweet, actually. I liked yeah. that. <coughs> I wouldn't have expected it from Robin. I uh, kind of would have done. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't really know anything about him apart no. from that Blurred Line song. Yeah. Which it was quite misogynistic, that. Apparently. Thing. Well, it was. It was. The it video. Was, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, was it? I, don't, I haven't seen it actually. That was the debate. That Maybe was I have that. seen it. I can't that was the accusation. Um, well, look, um, one of the other singles uh, on the album is with Alice Merton. Yes. Um, how did it come about that you worked with her? Alice Merton of No Roots fame. No Roots. Yes. Uh, she. Well, I did a festival with her in uh, München. Lovely. 
Is that Munich? Yes. Good. Uh, Phew. <clears throat> in in Holland yeah, so. and uh, in Germany, I mean. <laughs> yeah. There's two Munichs. One's a really small village in Holland. It was a dodgy booking. Uh, yeah. And you got on. Yeah. Well, okay. should, we, should we have a quick look at the fruits of, of your labour? Because we've got a clip sure. of, of the song. Sounds brilliant. It's great. worked. Yes. The two of you. Yes, voices. she's great. Yeah. And did, did, did you write the song with her or did you present it to her? No. No, I wrote the song uh, just as a solo piece. Uh, and then my guitarist said to me, uh, you should try doing it as a duet. Mm. Um, and it worked, yeah, so it's great. Brilliant. And it's nice, it's nice <laughs> also to have on, on the album, it's nice to have another voice. Yeah, are there many, are there many features? I mean, obviously Robin Thicke's on it, but anyone else? <laughs> uh, no, no, uh, there's no other features, no. But in your, in your career to date, you've been, uh, Lucky to meet some of your idols. Yes, yeah. Um, Elton John. Yeah. A lot's been said about that. You know, yeah. He, 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 two piano men. Yes. You must have got on like a house on fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Billy Joel. Mm. So what was Billy... What was Billy... Because I, because when I was reading about that, I re-listened -li to We Didn't Start the Fire. Right, yeah. And reread the lyrics. Yeah. Which are just... If any, he wrote them in a cupboard or something. It doesn't surprise me. Yeah, that's what... It's that's... just a list. Yeah. Quite difficult to write a list like that back then without the internet. No, yeah, I think you it was know. with an encyclopedia. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Did you talk to him about songwriting? Are you tempted to write your own list-based song? List-based song. Uh, I haven't yet, no. But um, uh, I did talk to him about songwriting. He told me a really interesting thing that... Because I'm, I'm much more from the, the school of, like, I have to write, like... I've written, like, hundreds of songs, like... Mm -hmm. I'd say 96% of the songs that I write never get heard. Probably more. 99% of the songs I write never get heard. 1% get heard. Like, I, write, I have to write a lot to get to the songs that are any good. And the same is, I think, with a lot of writers that, like Bruce Springsteen is this, you know, famously says, said that. And so a lot of my heroes are the same as that. But Billy's Joel was different. He said that every song he's ever written, he's put on an album. Wow. And Which is that, for a songwriter, it's kind of mad because it yeah. means you're you're not making many mistakes, or you just think everything's brilliant, or you just think everything's brilliant. In his case, most of it. And he was sort of right with that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you were to, so I'm just obsessed about this list thing. If you were to write a list-based song, yes. Where would you start? Uh, I quite like making lists yeah. actually, because you know they say there's like list makers. You know, some people make lots. Of, do any of you lot make lists? Got list make lots of list makers. Yeah. Yeah. List makers. Could you list the kind of things that you list on your list now? It's too too many lists. Um, <laughs> would you go political? Have you have you been tempted to write political songs? I think there's uh, dare I say I think there's political uh, political insinuations on this album uh, with its uh, but not intentionally. But I think there was a lot going on at the time, and I think that. Uh, there were some touches on it um, in two of the songs. One on, there's a song called Son of an Only Child, which touches on this idea of this sort of generational friction between people of my generation and the mm. generations above. Uh, which is, hasn't, I can't remember a time it's ever been more. Yeah, when well, it's been more. Relevant, yeah. And I think I genuinely, like quite hand on heart, say I wasn't intending to do that. It, 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 it fed in from writing about what I was seeing around me on this road. Mm. And this song came out that was called Son, Son of an Only Child, and sort of the only child being the sort of baby, baby boomer mm. that sort of spent all the money. <laughs> yeah. And we're sort of left cleaning up the confetti off the floor and the uh, cleaning up, you know, washing up the champagne glasses. Yeah. You know, our generation. And there's that slight sense of that, I think. Um, so it touches on that a bit, and then there's, I don't know, there's, there's a few other moments. But it's, you know, it's not, it's not overt. It's not, it's not like I haven't made a political album. It's like, it just touches on it. But I think it touches on it because I'm tr I wanted to make a real snapshot, a, a, a snow globe 
of of this little time on this little road that I lived, and I think it would be weird that it wasn't a part of it. Mm. I, I, I'm talking to you about it. I mean, I was excited about the album before, mm. but talking to you about it now and hearing you talk about it, oh. it's gone into it, and it, it sounds like it's going to be brilliant and genuinely interesting. And oh, I very can't kind. Wait to hear. No, I'm to totally genuine. I yeah. can't wait to hear it. So just very briefly, because we are we are out of time. Yes. Um, but uh, tour, you're you're about. To, you've kind of been going around playing the piano and doing sort of stripped down gigs yes. of the album. But, yeah. but kind of, is there a tour proper coming? What's next? Yeah, tour starts on Friday. Uh, in Glasgow, and we go all around the United Kingdom. There it is. Uh, and then we go into Europe. Uh, yeah, and that, yeah, it, you're, it looks like you're going to be busy. Your six and a half hours sleep is probably, you yeah. take an hour off that. Ambitious. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, yeah. good luck with it. And thank you so much for, uh, for talking to us. So the album is out on the 26th Sixth. Sixth yeah. of October. Cop that. That's what the kids say. Cop. Cop that. Is that a thing? That's what they say. Really? Cop it. Cop the album. Does everyone... Yeah. I don't know. I, yeah, it all, shows the kid, how... all, the, all the hipsters in the audience are nodding. I'm they, so out I'm of touch. I'm waiting to cop it. Um, but listen, thank you so much for coming Thanks. and talking to us, mate. Yeah. It's great to see you, as always, and yeah. uh, good luck with everything. Tom Adele! Yeah.